and here we go guys welcome to this video where I will talk you through my full drone setup let's start with the radio so I use a Taranis X90 plus I believe this is the most comfortable radio for my hands that's why I use this I've tried bigger radios like the Radio Master and smaller radios like the Tango 2 but this is the best I believe is the most comfortable so that's why I use it I use a crossfire module I believe it gives me the best results for the style of flying that I like to do so Taranis X90 plus plus crossfire let's move on onto the goggles so we have DJI V1 I have a knife light patch antenna and uh, two omnis at the top I believe this is good for most of the jobs but just in case you need a little bit more range I recommend getting this true RC directional antenna you put it in the goggles you point the goggles where the drone goes and you'll get a little bit more range so that's it for the goggles let's move on on to batteries here we go this is the only brand I recommend our lines don't buy the cheap batteries because you have gonna have to buy them twice our lines 1300 is the best ones and um, 1050 here is also very good but anything above 1300 I think uh, it's a little bit too bulky and it doesn't feel as good so uh, definitely go for this our lines drones okay this is my first drone that I ever built I landed my uh, original drone 5 inch in the sea and I was very sad and I kind of let this event fool me into learning how to build a drone from scratch thank you to my friend Ryan who taught me everything I know and uh, that's it it's an apex frame it has a Mamba F4 stack with a 40 amps ESC Mamba and uh, the motors are Brother Hobby 2207 the, I use the DJI Air Unit just because I believe that even though it's heavier you get better range when you fly than the Cadex Vista and I need range so that's why I don't mind having it heavier but I need to go far I need to be able to fly this drone and the penetration has to be better so I really think the air unit is superior so that's why I use it in terms of image we have GoPro 8 the GoPro 9 is a little bit too heavy the GoPro 6 a little bit less image quality so the GoPro 8 is the best ND filter from Polar Pro highly recommended do not use cheap ND filters like camera butter or TBS you're gonna get a much worse image quality get Polar Pro you pay a little bit more but you'll get the results in video and image quality yes the mount has to be heavier the GoPro is gonna be heavier but it doesn't matter you need the good at least I need good quality image so that's a price I have to uh, pay um, so Polar Pro and the filter and uh, that's it I think for this drone we're gonna move on onto my favorite the Black Mamba Apex so this one is built um, and is inspired by my idol Kobe Bryant and you can see it's very cool it has all the Lakers colors and uh, it's pretty it's my favorite um, again same frame apex it has a t-motor f7 this is the one that joshua bardwell has a video on youtube on how to build with this stack and uh, the motors are iflight xing uh, 2207 as well again air unit gopro 8 and polar pro nd filter as always you are going to notice a difference between this antenna mount and that antenna mount now this antenna mount just looks cool but you don't get as much range as this one I don't know maybe the battery hides the antennas or something but I get much more range from this drone having the antenna popping up like this than that drone 
so I should change that it just because it looks cool I give it like that but uh, if I have to push the range I'll definitely remove that little yellow antenna holder and uh, fly it like this so I believe guys this is it we have covered pretty much everything this is my full setup I hope you enjoyed the video please let me know if you have any questions just put them down in the comments and uh, the most important part don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching I'll see you in the next episode peace